As your website grows bigger, it can be really hard to keep track of all these little affiliate links that are plastered all over the pages. I have more than a thousand blog posts across my five bigger websites and I really need some good systems in place in order to keep track of everything. I've been using this Pretty Links Lite plugin on all my websites for many years now. I think it's seven years since I started using this plugin. So all my websites are running on WordPress and that means that it's easy for me to use a plugin like this. You should also use WordPress. This plugin is great for managing all the affiliate links because you get to place all your affiliate links in one central place and for each link you will get another link that you use in all your posts and pages. And that means if you go back and update this affiliate link, it will get updated in all your posts and pages. So you don't need to dig into thousands of blog posts eventually when your website gets bigger. So let me show you exactly how I use this plugin and I'll also show you how to keep track of your affiliate clicks inside Google Analytics. That's really, really neat because you'll be able to see what pages and posts are generating the most clicks and then you know what to work with in order to get better at this. This is what the plugin looks like when you're trying to find it and locate it in here. And as you can see, the 200,000 active installs and it has like four or five stars out of five. So that's pretty awesome. Out of several hundred of reviews and it's compatible with your version of WordPress which is the latest and it's last updated 18 hours ago so that's exactly what we want to see when we're choosing plugins for our site and as I told you I've been using this plugin for six seven years at least so it's an old one and it's been working well for me I never had any breakdowns or any trouble with it and I should also say there's a pro version. I'm not paying for it, I'm using the free version. And everything I teach you in this tutorial here or that I'm showing you right now is something you can do without paying for it. So that's pretty awesome. So after you installed it, you'll have this new tab here called Pretty Links. You can go directly here and add a new one, but let's just click it and see the sort of the main menu. So here you can see some of the affiliate links on my site and I can see how many times they get clicked. And I can also see here what the pretty link is. So the pretty link is sort of what they call this new link that you get for each affiliate link. But then, let me show you now how it works. Whenever you have a new offer that you want to promote, you click add new up here. And then you get this window here. You can give it a title up here and that's only for your own records. I'm just going to call this new test link. And then by default, it'll be set to 307 temporary link. And then you place your affiliate link here. I'm just going to type something random here, like affiliate link that link. And now you get to choose how you want your pretty link to look like. So you can call this anything. And if you want to use this link, you know, on YouTube or Twitter or so on, which I'm going to show you a bit later in this video, you might call it something clever that people can actually remember. But otherwise, just keep a simple structure here so you can keep track of all your affiliate links. I'm going to show you a little later in this video a neat trick inside Google Analytics where you can keep track of all your affiliate links. So I'm coming back here a little later in the video to show you how you can do that by adding a little folder here. But for now, let's just call it test because you can call it anything. And here in the notes, you can put some notes for yourself. It's also just for your internal records. Info about the link. So now you click update. And now the simple magic happens. When I copy and paste this into the browser and click enter, it will try to take me to the link that I entered. And of course I just put some dummy text in there, so it doesn't exist. But if I put in an actual affiliate link, it would send me there. And the trick now is to use this link here instead of the actual affiliate link, all across all your posts and articles. Whenever you want to link to this specific offer, use this link that you just created right now, because if you want to go back to this offer here at some point and change it to another product, let's say the product you're promoting runs out of stock, or maybe the affiliate program is getting shut down altogether, then you just go back here and edit it, put another affiliate link in here, and now everywhere you put this link across your site will get updated too. So that's awesome. That's the first really awesome thing about this plugin. The other cool thing is that you have this list now of all your affiliate links here and you can see exactly where you are sending people to and you can also see some basic, very, very basic statistics here on how many people clicked your links. But we're going to expand on that. We're going to get a little more clever about the statistics here in a second when we talk about Google Analytics. Let's see what else we can do. You can sort all these into categories, but if you want to do that, you have to upgrade to the pro version. I don't do that. I mean, even though I have 
for this site here, I have 41 different affiliate offers that I promote. I don't, I don't use the categories. You can also use text. It's sort of the same things just to sort all the links. You can do reporting. And to be frank, I don't know exactly what reports are in here because I want all of my reporting to be inside Google Analytics because that's where I have all my other data. I want to be able to sort all my clicks and all my data related to affiliate links together with stuff about landing pages, time on site, page views and all that good stuff. So I want that inside Google Analytics. I'm going to show you in a second how to do that. Then there's some tools here that see what that can do. I actually never really looked into it. Okay, so you can actually delete clicks older than 30 days or 90 days, delete all clicks. That's probably just to sort of reset the statistics. There's some other options here. So you can change the default type of link here. You don't need to do that. You can also enable nofollow. I think that's enabled by default because since we're talking affiliate links, we always want a nofollow attribution to that link. It's nothing to think too much about. It's just something that Google asks us to do. Since you're linking to something that you're promoting, you want to add this nofollow link. You can also put on the sponsored tag if you want to do that. But most of this down here is for the pro version, so you need to pay for that. And then you can also import and export things if you want to pay for the tool. But as I said, I'm not using the pro version. But one thing, they keep bugging you every time you log in to upgrade to pro, upgrade to pro. So that's a little annoying, but I mean, I can live with that. Pretty Links is also great for creating what we call shout out links. That's whenever you want to mention a link on a podcast or on Twitter or on a YouTube video or somewhere where you're going to say the link and not write it so people can click it. You know, if people need to remember it, also maybe in a radio commercial or whatever, somewhere where people need to remember a link, it's impossible to remember an actual affiliate link. They're really ugly and they consist of a lot of weird characters and so on. And that's why they call this plugin Pretty Links because you can make your links much, much prettier and easier to remember. So you can call these links anything you want. Let's say your domain.com slash this link or X or Y. You can type in exactly what you want that little URL to be and then they will send you back in the system to that right affiliate offer. So with Pretty Links, you're able to see inside WordPress how many times each link is getting clicked on. But you'll not be able to get any statistic with this plugin for how many times this link is clicked on this page versus this page or this blog post. So in order to do that, we need to do a little bit of tricks inside Google Analytics. Let me show you here how to set up a really, really simple goal where you can monitor for all your landing pages exactly how many people clicked on one of your affiliate links. That's a really, really cool thing to do and it's so easy. Let me start by showing you what it looks like when I have this goal set up here. So when I go to behavior, site content and landing pages, I'll see a lot of basic statistics for all my landing pages. You know, when people land on this page as the first page they see on my site, that's typically how it is when people find us from Google search, you know, they'll search something and land on this page. So what happens there? Then over here, I can sort by goals. And that's what I'm going to show you how to set up in a second. I choose a goal here called outbound links. It's just something that I called it. And then I have sorted the list here by how many people are actually clicking on my links per visitor. So that's what we call the conversion rate. How many percentage of the visitors are actually clicking on an affiliate link? So if you see here, this article up here, the first one, it only had four sessions of four page views. So 25% was clicking. But when we get down here, this one had around 10,000 page views over the last 30 days, I think it is. And 20% of my visitors to this page here clicked on an affiliate link. So that's pretty awesome. That's 2000 affiliate clicks on just this article here in the last 30 days. So you'll be able here to see what are your top performing articles? Where did you do a really, really good job at placing those affiliate links? So that has to do with the wording and the design of the page and how you sort of presented the link inside the content, you know. You can also sort them by number of clicks. So you can see some pages are getting a couple of thousands of clicks over the last 30 days and others are getting a few hundreds. So it's a great way to dig into exactly which pages on your site doing best in terms of just getting people to click the affiliate link. But remember, we don't see any revenue numbers here. We can only track how many people actually click on the link, but that's a very good metric to keep track of. So let me show you now how to set this up. You need to go into admin here and then you go over to this third column where it says goals 
And let me show you the goal that I just set up. It was called outbound link click. Let's see how it's set up. So it's what we call a custom setup. You just click custom here, click continue. And in the goal description here, you can call it anything you like. I just call it outbound link click. And click is just a word that I, that I have made up. And I'm gonna show you in a while why I'm using a made up word here. And then you want to trigger this by an event and click continue. And now here you can give it a name. You put this category equals to and just put in a name here. And this this part here doesn't really matter because we're not attributing any any goal value, you know. It's just a number of clicks. It's not it doesn't have any monetary value attached to it. And then you click save. Now the next step here is not too logical, but you just need to do exactly what I do here. It's very, very few simple steps. You need to be using this plugin here, Monster Insights. Of course, also other ways you can do it, but this is how I do it and I think it's the easiest way. It's just the plugin I use to install my Google Analytics code and to do this tracking that I'm going to show you here. But you go here to settings and then you go to publisher. And then here you see they have this section called affiliate links. Our affiliate link tracking works by setting path for internal links to track as outbound links. So remember, with Pretty Links, you're actually creating a link with your own domain in it that sends people off the site. We need analytics to treat it as an outgoing link so we can see how many people were sent to that affiliate link. So what you need to do is to put a path like this. The example they're using is go. I like to use another word. I'm coming back to why I'm using, a, you can say a custom word, a word I just made up. But you can put anything here. You just need to put slash word slash and then you also put a label here and this label here is how you identify the goal when you're looking inside google analytics so remember when we set up our affiliate links here in pretty links i put this little folder in here slash click slash i did that for all my affiliate links here and that means that every time i have that word inside the url it's an affiliate link that also means that it will be able to identify it and classify it as an external link and now when i set it up here you need to write it like this. And this is the only part that's really important. When you set up the category text here, you need to call it outbound link. And then the last word here needs to match exactly the word that you put here and here. So when you do that, it will work perfectly. That's all you need to do. You know, you don't need to understand anything else than that. Put the same word here with a slash on both sides. And here, as you're using in your URLs here, and also place that word after outbound, link and then the word here click save and everything will work so the reason why i'm using a made up word here click actually means click in danish so i use this word in all my urls here because i want to be able to pull out all the affiliate links if i wanted to at a future point in time i can take all my affiliate links and identify them because they'll be the ones that have this word in them if i use the word go you know i'd also have that in go downsize i might have a lot of links with the word go in it but I would probably not have too many external links pointing with the word click. So it's just if I wanted to pull out all my affiliate links at a future point in time, but you don't need to do this for this tracking to work. But now that we have it all set up like this, we'll have this nice report in here and you can keep track of how many people are clicking on your affiliate links per page. Now that you have this fantastic data, you need to dig into which pages on your site are sending the most affiliate clicks to some of the offers that you promote. That's really great because you'll be able to see exactly how you phrased it and how you planted that link in the article. So you can do more of that stuff that really works well. And it will also enable you to find and pinpoint those articles where you're not sending a lot of traffic, even though you have affiliate links there. So you want to go over these articles and work with them and create a better context for that link. Before I share a more advanced tip, subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell because I have a lot of these videos coming out. I love to do really, really practical stuff where I teach you hands on SEO and how to make more money with your blog. So hit the little bell and let's go down to the next tip here. The next tip I have for you is a little more advanced. And this is for when you have more traffic on your site. It's not for the first couple of articles, but let's say you have a blog post on your site that's getting, let's say a couple of thousand page views per month. And you have some really good offers inside this blog post. Or maybe you have a course or just something where you want people to interact with it. You want them to click on an affiliate link, go to another page, go and buy your stuff or whatever. Then you can do two versions of the page. And now you'll be able to use that goal that we set up before and see which versions are getting the most clicks 
on the affiliate links or the buy button or whatever. It doesn't have to be an affiliate link. It can be anything really. But it's a great way to work with this as soon as you're seeing some traffic. I've been able to double the conversion rate on some of my pages. The conversion rate is just a fancy word that means how many people who visit your site are actually going to do what you want them to do, you know, click an affiliate link and so on. So I've been able to sort of create a copy of the, some of these great performing pages and do another copy where I cranked up this conversion rate. It's a really great way to do more and crank more revenue out of the content that you already have on your site. Google has built a free piece of software that we can use for this because Google wants us to create better websites, websites that do exactly what we want them to do and where the reader and the user actually know how to figure out what's happening on the site, you know, because if they land on your site and they're not clicking or doing anything, it's probably because they don't know what you want them to do and what's the purpose of the site, right? So it's called optimize.google.com. And as I said, it's a free piece of software. And if you want to check this out, just be aware that you might not be able to guess beforehand what is going to work and what is going to crank up that conversion rate and generate more clicks to your affiliate offers. You need to really, really shuffle everything around and add some new text and images and so on. Do some radical changes. Don't just change the color of a button or remove the same text around on the page. Create some new text. The text on the page, the actual sales copy is typically what will create the biggest bump in conversion rate when you're doing these sort of tests. And also try to remove as many elements on the page as possible. We don't want to clutter the page with too many call to actions. We want it to be really clear to the reader and the visitor on the site exactly what we want them to do. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up and as I said, subscribe to my channel because I have a lot more good videos coming up for you guys.